God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Tuesday, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you, by the way. Today's devotional, much like just like yesterday's, is based on the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verses 9 to 15. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia to ha- and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace the following day to ne- Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira, and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Ronald Cole Turner. Lydia is decisive because she is discerning able to see through the events on the surface to the deeper workings of God's Spirit. She is discerning because God has opened her heart to a new level of perception. God has given her this ability to perceive because she comes to worship. She comes to worship because she is hungering for something more in life, something beyond the commercial success she has apparently achieved. She is hungry for more because the spirit, restless spirit, who is surely in all of, us, all of us, before we even know it, has stirred up a holy longing in her soul. Every step of the way, the spirit prompts and calls and blesses her, and through her, blesses us. And Cole Turner leaves us with this to, to ponder today. Are you, like Lydia, hungering for something more in life? Let us pray. Spirit of God, fall afresh on me. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, wear a mask. God bless.